Attorney General uh, Bill Barr, who also explains what was expected to happen on election night. Right out of the box on election night, the president uh, claimed that there was major fraud underway. I mean, this happened, as far as I could tell, before there was actually any potential of looking at evidence. There was an avalanche of all these allegations of fraud that built up over a number of days, and it was like playing whack-a-mole because something would come out one day, and then the next day it would be another issue. Also, I was influenced by the fact that all the early claims uh, that I understood on, uh, were, were completely bogus and silly and usually based on complete misinformation. Barr persisted in telling the president that there was no evidence to support the fraud claims. I told him that the stuff that his people were shoveling out to the public were bull was bull I mean, that the claims of fraud were bull And I was somewhat demoralized because I thought, boy, if he really believes this stuff, he has, you know, lost contact with, uh, with uh, he, he's become detached from reality if he really believes this stuff. On the other hand, you know, when I went into this and would, you know, tell them how crazy some of these allegations were. There was never, there was never an indication of interest in what the actual facts were. My opinion then and my opinion now is that uh, the election was not stolen by fraud. And uh, I haven't seen anything since the election that changes my mind on that. Now, the Attorney General wasn't the only person who told the President that his claims were false. Other officials and close advisors told him the same thing. And I remember telling him that I didn't believe the Dominion allegations because I thought the hand recount in Georgia would, would resolve any issues with a technology problem and with Dominion or Dominion flipping votes. And I believe Mr. Navarro accused me of being an agent of the deep state working with Chris Krebs against the president. And I never took another phone call from Mr. Navarro. What they were proposing, I thought was nuts. And the theory was also completely nuts. I mean, different things have been floating around as to who was involved. I remember Hugo Chavez in the Venezuelan, she has an affidavit from somebody who says they wrote a software in it, something with the Philippines and that. Just all over the radar. She said, dead people are voting. Indians are getting paid to vote. He meant people on uh, Native American reservations. He said, there's lots of fraud going on here. I told him flat out that much of the information he's getting is false and or just not supported by the evidence. We look at the allegations, but they don't pan out.